birthday week, birthday week, birthday week. And this is why I always want to ride this section. <laughs> Look how cool this little section is. Ah. Oh man, don't fall in. Hey there, we are Hannah and Mel and we love to adventure. Over the last few weeks, we have been down in Florida soaking up the sunshine and enjoying our type of winter. We're also breaking in our new home, a 170 Sprinter van that we converted into a tiny house. In our last video, we got to explore Miami and all the adventures it had to offer. In this video, we take the adventure west to Tampa, Florida, where we paddleboard with baby hammerhead sharks, ride some super swampy trails, and make some new friends. So come travel awesome with us in Tampa, of Florida. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you have been enjoying our Florida videos. We've been down here for about two or three weeks now. It's been amazing. We were in Miami recently. Loved Miami. I feel like I got to work on my Spanish skills. I've been taking Duolingo. I'm actually, I think, on a 22 or 23 day streak. And yeah, it definitely nowhere near where I should be or I want to be. But yeah, it definitely was cool to practice the Spanish a little bit. We went to Little Havana. We rode mountain bikes. We went paddle boarding. Miami quickly became our favorite city in the USA. And after the video, we actually did a quick trip down to the Florida Keys. The Keys has been something that I want to see for a long time. Hannah's actually been there in the past. However, I've never seen it. And we've always been told that, man, don't go down there. It's tough to van life. It's not a little bit overhyped. I have to say the Florida Keys was one of my favorite places I've ever seen in the US. It was truly mind blowing just driving on that highway and having water on both sides of you. And we made it all the way to Key West. We got some vegan key lime pie, which I guess is something that you have to do in the Keys. And then we got to take in the sunsets and also hang out on top of our roof. We got that roof rack and we made sure that we had a lot of space up there to kind of hang out on the roof. And honestly, we are gonna have so much fun with this thing. We've been loving the new van and this thing really does feel like a home on wheels and also a giant tree house but it's also hannah's birthday week which we're going to be celebrating all week long we decided this is going to be something new we're going to be doing for it is doing a whole week rather than a day just in case we end up getting food poisoning on the actual day which has happened to us on the past and certain holidays so yeah it's going to be hannah's birthday week and we're going to be celebrating it all throughout this video we already started off with a quick cupcake hopefully birthday i can do week. a good job birthday <laughs> week birthday <laughs> week Birthday week. Hannah's super stoked. With that being said, let's get our grocery shopping done real quick and Hannah will fill you guys in on where we're going. Also, you guys give Hannah some birthday love in the comment section. If you guys can hit that like button, it really has been helping out these videos and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of our adventures. Let's go enjoy Tampa, Florida together. Phew. Birthday week, <laughs> birthday week. <laughs> Alright guys, so what you probably just saw is Mo changing the modes on the suspension. We'll talk more about the suspension and all the other upgrades we made to this van in a later video. It is my birthday week and I don't know if it's really extra to try to celebrate for a whole entire week, but why not? I'm turning 25. I feel like that's a little bit of a landmark year. I'm no longer my parents' health insurance, which I'm really sad about. We're actually headed to Tampa to celebrate. Tampa's one of my favorite cities in Florida because they really do have a good mix of everything. They have really awesome trails really good food, as well as some great paddle boarding. So we're gonna do all of that in this video and show you guys the best places to do all those things. Yeah, let's go enjoy Tampa, Florida. You. For our first stop for our Tampa adventure, we had to get a quick ride in Bomboyet. You might remember a few weeks ago, we did ride here during the cold front, but the trails were closed for maintenance. This time, we had much sunnier conditions and we were stoked to finally ride the Ridgeline Trail together. So we made it to Bomboyet and I finally get to show Hannah what I personally think is the most unique trail in the Florida trail system. It's a trail called Ridgeline, once again here in Bomboyet. We'll put the link to this place in the description. It's finally open. Last time it wasn't, so excited to rip it. We're running out of light, so let's try and crank this out. Phew. There's water on both sides of us right now. Definitely have to be careful. Phew. Don't even have to pedal that much. Nice. More down. Woo. You don't even have to pedal up those ones. It's pretty fun. The downhill takes you all the way up. Nice, Mo. 
Good one. Woo. A lot of people have gone off that one, I can tell by the tire marks. That's fun. <laughs> that was pretty cool, honestly. Just uh, enough speed to get over that one without pedaling. Uh, now it seems to be getting better and better as we're riding it. At first, I was a little skeptical, I gotta admit. Mo really hyped this trail up, but it's definitely earning its name now. Nice bridge. How was it? That was really good. <laughs> it was fun, I gotta admit. That was like a trippy I was skeptical trail. at first. First time I rode this was the middle of summer. It definitely smelled a lot worse. I think the swamp just has a really strong smell in the summertime. Oh. Yeah, it's not. Well, alligators are stinky. Yeah, maybe it's the, oh, is that what it is? Don't they smell like rotten flesh? Oh, that makes so, oh, that means it was alligators. Well, it could have been both. Could have been both. Probably both. Or it could have been me. <laughs> morning you guys welcome back to another day here in tampa florida and also day two of hannah's birthday week we're birthday really excited week, <laughs> birthday week birthday week birthday week if you guys can't tell she's really excited i'm really excited as well because today we're actually going to go paddling we're actually at the weed on preserve and i can't recommend this place enough one thing i have to say about florida is they really are all about nature access there's so many awesome state parks and preserves and ways to enjoy nature this place in particular has a really awesome kayak slash canoe slash paddleboard launch and actually a paddling trail i sprayed a lot of mosquito spray and i hate the smell i know it's probably not healthy for me but I really do not like getting bit and they always eat me alive. They never touch Mo. So it's worth it. So I actually don't like putting sunscreen or mosquito spray or any of that stuff. I don't know. It's just something about like spraying stuff onto me. It's just kind of something that I don't like. I also don't like when stuff has a ton of tiny holes like sponges. That's another phobia of mine if anyone is curious. Yeah, never, is that why you never do dishes? No, what? <laughs> yeah, that's why I never do dishes. <laughs> Blame it on that. <laughs> So I don't know how much you guys can hear me right now. I don't know how the audio is on this GoPro, but a little bit of a fail to start off the paddleboard trail. Basically, it was way too shallow to get to the paddle trail. That's what the rangers were telling us. However, it turned into a little bit of an epic adventure. We got to see a hammerhead shark. This place truly is beautiful. It's actually a really nice day and the water is super glassy. There's like hardly any boats out. And this sandbar is really cool. We definitely didn't see this last time. Do you think we could ever live in Florida? I I think so. I mean, no matter where we decide to settle down, we're always going to want to travel and have a van still or an RV. And it'll be just more of a home base. Like most of the time, I think we'll still be outside traveling. 
So I feel like we could do Florida and then just travel to like the mountains. You know what I mean? We'll just end up living in our van again if I have a house in Florida. Yeah, you guys, the age old question. Do you live in the mountains or do you live close to the oceans or next to a lake? Uh, it's gonna be one of those things that we'll figure out where we're gonna settle down one day. Keep paddling, make it back to the van, hopefully get some smoothies and then continue the day. Woo. Birthday week, birthday week, birthday week. Paddling the weed on preserve was fun, but we headed back for some smoothies before our next ride. We first needed to grab some coffee, so we headed to one of the best coffee shops out there, Spatty's Coffee. I'm Greg Spatticini, uh, owner of Spatty's Coffee here in Seminole Heights in Tampa, Florida. And uh, we serve specialty coffee, local baked goods. Uh, we're right here in the heart of Seminole Heights. We've got this courtyard behind us where we hang out, make it a welcoming space for all of our friends and neighbors and our, our bike friends as well. Um, so yeah, come on by and check out, check out Spatty's Coffee for a cup of coffee and a nice Cuban toast. Got a great staff here, uh, all locally roasted coffee. So we roast our coffee every week. We roast right here in West Tampa. And um, and yeah, come on by the courtyard, man. It's a good spot. The coffee was amazing, but most importantly, we're ready to hit the trails again. This time we'd be riding Alafaya, some of our favorite trails next to Tampa. And we even had a guide to show us around. All right, so we are officially on the trails here in Alafaya. State Park and we are with Spatty from the coffee shop. First trail of the day is called Moonscape. And Alafaya definitely has the most flow out of all the trails we've ridden in the Florida trail system, so. Nice. Woo! Ah. <laughs> A drop slash roll thingy. Ew! Nice. Ah. Almost went off the trail there. <laughs> Just took a moth into the mouth. Oh, yes. Whoa, that definitely was exposure. Don't fall off, Hannah. Oh, wow. High exposure. Nice. Phew. Nope. That one kind of, not really actually at all. I wasn't joking. You definitely need to get really good paddle strokes going into that because that first one is pretty big as in long. Drop kind of. Woo. Oh, I shouldn't have braked. <laughs> definitely need the speed for that hill. I'm a little bit scarred from riding here last time. There was no sign for a particular drop and the drop was mandatory and I went over the bar. So let's take every drop with extreme precaution. All right, the Gwazi berm. <laughs> when you think Florida, you probably don't think big wooden berms, but we got you covered. Breaking too much already. Did you see my little thing? Yeah, you went flying. You see my little ooh? I saw that, I saw the whip. So oh, cool. So I believe we are on the Northwest Trail and so much single track in this park. This is one of the flowier, techier style loops. So if you're a down country type of person, this place is for you. Bitfire Trail is what we're doing now. Oh, whoa, don't fall off. <laughs> or you go in the swamp. Woo. Hey. <laughs> so awesome. Uh, Razorback is the trail we're going on now. Oh man. Whew. Awesome. Oh, look at that swamp out there. <laughs> Don't wash out, Hannah. 
<laughs> so cool. It kind of feels constantly like you're riding in the scenes from Jurassic Park. <laughs> and you know, at any second, a dinosaur might come out. <laughs> Aren't alligators related to dinosaurs? <laughs> they at least look like it. <laughs> I don't know if there's any truth to that statement. Let us know in the comment sections. What? <laughs> What's the ancestry of the alligator? Oh. Oh yeah, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing about the shells out here is you do tend to get a little dizzy. <laughs> if it's not from the heat exhaustion, then from how much they're routed. But it also maximizes the single track. Oh, oh wooden bridge. <laughs> ah. I'm getting my cardio in today. Am I climbing? This trail's called Franken Stairs. Nice. Ah. 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 Nice. And this is why I always want to ride this section. <laughs> Look how cool this little section is. Ah. <laughs> oh man, don't fall in. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Actually a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> kind of forgot about that part. Tampa has quickly become one of our favorite stops while on the road in Florida. Filled with awesome adventures, good people, and beautiful sunsets, we highly recommend checking this city out. More adventures to come. Until next time, you guys, travel awesome. Phew!